Falcons. Set for a good matchup in the NFC South. So glad you're with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, this is a division you know a lot about, and the rivalries within this division always kind of gives you a good game when it's NFC South against NFC South. Yeah, and this is a division, Mike, that I've lived in for a long time in my career. And at one point, you can make the argument that it was the best division in football. But right now, it's the quarterback uncertainty. Do we have the quarterback of our future? Did we just draft one? Did we just sign one? What does that look like? Two of the four teams, brand new coaches taking over control to start this season. No division won fewer games last season. They've got a lot of work to do before this division can hold the candle to some of the others we see throughout the NFL. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Buccaneers led out by their quarterback, Baker Mayfield. He was in Cleveland and Carolina and then with the Rams. But now year two, and it feels like he's found a home. Greg here with the Buccaneers. One thing about this guy is he epitomizes the word resiliency. After a promising start to his NFL career, he hit a major wall. I mean, he was essentially, Mike, discarded by the entire league to the point where many felt he was destined to just be a career backup. However, once he got that second chance, he took it and ran with it. Now that his career is back on track, he's tasked with leading this team to many more victories. And if he plays up to that standard, he's going to give him a legitimate shot. They get 13 to begin the drive. It's a first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays. and. That was a good one there. Second down and eight. Another run here with White. He'll pop his head for about four, but it will set up third down. Here comes Otten in motion. Off the play fit. It's Mayfield. And he's going to run out of time. They get to him and bring him down. In the midst of a tight game like that, you're looking for every play that you can make to try to gain advantage. And if you can continue to get after the quarterback, disrupt the rhythm and timing of this quarterback, in the second half, that could be the difference of you being able to pull away. So on fourth down, time to kick it away. Jake Camarda to do the honors. Ray Ray McLeod, deep to return. And that is good coverage by the punt team as they meet him and bring him down. The Falcons, led out by their quarterback, Kirk Cousins. One of the big moves in the offseason, Atlanta acquiring Cousins in free agency. He had six years in Washington, the last six in Minnesota, and now he begins his run this season with the Falcons. Ever since he was drafted in the fourth round, all this guy has done is continue to surpass all expectations. And Mike, this isn't some physical specimen like we see throughout the league who has all these unique physical attributes, but he is about as consistent and even keel as the quarterback position gets. And it doesn't hurt that he is a beloved figure in every locker room he finds himself in. They know with this guy behind center, they have a shot to win every single game he plays. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Another run here for Robinson. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. But you know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in him. 
third and a yard. They'll try to run for it with Robinson. And this will be a Falcons first down. He gets it up past the 30 to the 32. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring him for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. On first and ten, Cousins. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. The best thing they did here, Mike, is keep their rush lane integrity. What that means is you have to rush the quarterback as a unit. Keep him in the pocket. Keep him on that X. And when you do, man, he becomes a sit and duck for this pass rush. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. He's got this to Bijan Robinson. Well, they'll get some of the sack yardage back, but it's still going to leave them with third down. It may not have moved the chains, but with what they were dealing with there on second down, that's a really nice pickup because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down where it's a little bit more manageable. Here comes third and six. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. That'll be caught by the running back, Robinson. And he's gonna get there. He got the first down, not by a whole lot, but that'll keep this drive rolling. Nice pick up there by Bijan Robinson. And so often these big running backs coming out of college, Mike, everyone just assumes they're downhill guys and the passing game is an afterthought. Bijan led all rookie running backs with 58 catches last year. Continues to be a big part of his game. He is the ultimate dual threat back. A toss left side caught by his running back. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and there's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. He'll get this to the former Bear, Darnell Mooney. And they'll whistle him down, but not before it picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter. So, not much to speak of in terms of scoring in that first quarter of play. What will the second quarter have in store? Greg and I back in Atlanta after this. Here's a second and three forthcoming. On the give, it's Robinson. And he'll have enough to move the chains. He'll take this forward for about three yards. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. First and ten now from the 36. Cousin. Short throw taken by Pitts. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. I really like the balance that they've showed so far on this drive, Mike. And what that does is it makes the defense have to defend the entire field. The run game and the pass game. Everything looks the same. There's no tells. So they can't afford to just dial up certain schemes to take away a run or a pass. To the goal line and in. Touchdown Atlanta. 
You know, Mike, at this level, not all touchdowns are created equal. There's some plays that result in touchdowns, and then there are touchdown strikes, and this one is the latter. I mean, you talk about a confidently thrown ball on the money downfield. It doesn't get a lot better than this, and his receiver is able to take it in for six. Young Way Koo now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Falcons will take a 7-0 lead. out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this field in at about the nine Boom. and he'll be brought down right around the 25 yard line now the return man is a bit slow getting up after that kick and as the medical staff looks him over we'll step aside From the 25, they'll go to work. First and 10. They send Godwin in motion. On first down is Mayfield. A short one there to Otten. It'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. It's not the big play they were hoping for, but first down efficiency, staying ahead of the chains, is what every offense is trying to find, and it brings up a manageable second down. They face second down and seven. The motion man is Johnson. Throwing on second down, Mayfield. That pass sideline is caught. Nice catch, stays in bounds, and he's got the first down. Terrific job with the feet to make that one a grab. This is why the top... Raheem Morris consulting with his staff above, and they decide to throw the challenge flag here. At issue, was he able to stay in bounds? The NFL rules, you're looking for either two feet or a body part that is not a hand to be down with possession of the ball. No bobbling, the ball not moving around, he has control, so that's what the referee is looking at here. So the challenge is unsuccessful, and he's going to have to be careful here because he has just one challenge for the remainder of the game. Ball out to the 35-yard line as they come up for first and 10. Baker going to hand it to White. And nothing on that one back to the line of scrimmage, and that is it. Just watch the speed of the pursuit out of this safety on this tackle, Mike. His ability to play from depth and attack the line of scrimmage and meet that ball carrier in the hole and keep him to no gain. You don't see a lot of safeties able to make that tackle in the open field. That's pretty impressive. They'll go again with White. And he'll get this to about the 36-yard line. Hayden Ellis in on that stop. And not. Out of the shotgun. Mayfield. This throw left side. Taken in by Johnson. And he looks to be a bit short of the line. And that is going to bring up fourth down. The initial reaction is, how does this quarterback not throw the ball past the first down line to gain to try to extend this drive? And the reality is, because they've already decided they're going to go for it on fourth down. If he doesn't pick up the extra yards after the catch, they've got a fourth down play call they feel great about, 
and we're going to see what it looks like. There's Kirk Cousins. He and the Falcons set for their next drive. This will start from the 12, trying to put a drive together here. It's first and 10. A tight end in motion now. The drive will begin here with a run by Robinson. And they'll get him down, but not before he takes this across the 30-yard line. I half expected to see all 11 defenders piled up on top of him at the end of this run to make sure he was finally down. Because a couple times on that run, it looked like he was cooked, only to shake off those tackles and keep on cooking. Line of scrimmage is the 31 as they line up first and 10. Off the play fake, here's Cousins. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. They just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. And he'll get back maybe to the line of scrimmage, but probably going to be a loss of a yard here. This play here, Mike, is just all about the get-off of the defensive line. Watch how fast they go when that ball is snapped. Nowhere for this running back except to go down for a loss. Cousins out of the gun on third down. No one open. He'll drop it to his running back. And he'll be stopped short of a first down. And that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. All right, so there's really three areas that a modern NFL running back has to excel at. Number one, the traditional handoffs. Yes, you have to operate out of the backfield like a traditional running back. Number two, you have to be excellent and reliable in pass protection. And maybe bigger than all of them, you have to be at least serviceable out of the backfield in the passing game. So that'll bring up fourth down. And here comes the veteran Bradley Pinion to punch it away. a nice job of getting to him making sure that return was not going anywhere here's the Tampa Bay offense they're going to take over once more they trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down three tight ends in the game to start the drive Drive begins with a run by White. And he's going to be taken down as we hit the two-minute warning here in this first half. They'll come up here on second down and five. From the gun, it's Mayfield. Godwin working the right side. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. Really nice job here by the quarterback, understanding what did he need to pick up a fresh set of downs. In this case, that underneath drag route was all it took. Get the ball into the hands of your receiver, pick up a first down. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. We'll try again. It's second and ten. To throw is Mayfield. That is taken in by the veteran Mike Evans. 
first time he's caught a ball here tonight, and it is good for a first down. You find yourself in these two-minute drills, Mike. They're pretty critical moments in the game. They go a long way to deciding the outcome, so it makes a lot of sense. You start looking for your top target, and he comes through for him there. On first and ten, here's Baker. Right back to Evans. He's got it again. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. And now you can see they're really getting in rhythm in this two-minute drive. Now, after that last completion, Mike, they cross midfield. Now the mindset goes to, all right, we got to come away with some points. They've got a quarterback who's in complete control, and they got to see if they can finish this thing off. They feel to throw on first and ten. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. Field. He'll find his running back, White. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. Defensive coordinators preach all the time, play pass defense with vision. It's exactly the case here. They're able to rally to the ball, keep that to a short game. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. Baker to throw. And on third down, that ball incomplete. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. McLaughlin's kick is good. And the Bucks are on the board just before halftime. So the mistake there, the roughing call on the field goal, they'll take the three points off the board, keep possession of the ball, and have it first down. They send Godwin in motion. Mayfield to throw it here on first down. Work in the middle of the field, but that is incomplete. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but at the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. On second down, Baker. He'll go underneath here, the running back out of the backfield. The Buccaneers forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in the opening half. Here now, third and five. They send Evans in motion. From the gun on third down, it's Mayfield. I think this is one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss... He picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks. And now they got a fourth down decision to make. McLaughlin's kick is good. And the Buccaneers are on the board just before halftime. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well. You're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. Final 
final nine seconds of this half. And the kick is away. And this one is fielded in the end zone. Will not be returned. So it'll come out to the 30. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. Not much there. Maybe a yard. So we've reached the intermission here in a low-scoring game. 7-3 is our score. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach. All right, Michael, thanks very much as we welcome you into our downtown Orlando studios and the EA Sports Halftime Report. For the Falcons in the first half, they were led by their quarterback, the veteran Kirk Cousins. He has a touchdown pass, and that amounted to the only touchdown of the game for either team thus far. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see if we come out with a hot hand in this second half. About to get started. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. Avery Williams on the return. Oh, he's got room past the 30. Good return here. Brings it up to the 33-yard line. The Falcons offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. The lead sits at four. So they'll try to add on to that. This drive begins with first and ten. Now, Cousins. Oh, and a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass he say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. Complete former first round pick Drake London with the catch. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Zone route running, Mike, is very simple, right? I mean, everyone wants to complicate offensive football and make it super technical. Once you come off the line of scrimmage after the ball is snapped and you know it's zone coverage, as long as it's sort of in the area the quarterback expects you to be, my rule was just run where they're not. And when he throws it, catch it. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. This is where you have to be careful, Mike. You find yourself winning in the second half. Human instinct says, all right, let's just sit on the ball and protect the lead and let the clock run out. You can't do that. Stay aggressive. Do what got you here. Continue to mix the run with the pass. Keep your foot on the gas and try to extend this lead. That is brought in at the 10. And they're going to be set up now as he's brought down at the five-yard line. Well, they certainly aren't wasting any time marching down the field. I mean, you only need one hand to count how many plays they've run, and yet they find themselves first and goal inside the low red zone. Five yards from the house. They've got it first and goal. Working out of the gun, it's Cousins. And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times. And then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individually, not ideal. But right now, they're on the doorstep of the... It is brought in in the end zone. Touchdown, Falcons. You can just see the comfort, Mike, that this offense continues to play with. The early momentum in the first half has carried here after the break, and you can see this group just slowly starting to pull away. 
And I'm thinking, Greg, about the guys on the other side. You're waiting at halftime. That other offense waiting to get back on the field. What happens? They come right out, extend the lead, and now the task gets a lot tougher for the second half. Here's Coop for the extra point. His kick is good. And the Falcons extend their advantage to 14 to 3. more as the kicks away the return starts from the five he'll get this up to the 28 yard line nice place for the drive to start the Buccaneers offense trotting back out for their first involvement of this second half they trail now 14 to 3 so an 11 point deficit as they start things out with first and 10 Throwing is Mayfield. To the left side, to Godwin. And they'll get him up four here as he is taken down. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. On the handoff. It's White. And he's going to get it. First down, taking this one up past the 40-yard line. On first down, right back to White. Not much happening there. Just a short game. Here's second and nine. The give to White. And he'll be marked down at the 45-yard line. Finding yourself down here, multiple scores in the second half. The defense is going to give you some friendly run looks. So don't be afraid to mix it in there. But if you're going to find yourself coming back from this deficit, you're going to have to do it primarily through the air with just a little bit of mix of the run. Here comes Otten in motion. Throwing is Baker. This one on target to Godwin. Give them 12 on that one. They are on the march. Another first down. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They have a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. That's 13 more on that play. And quickly, another first down. Points have certainly been hard to come by in this one today, Mike, but it seems like this drive has been what they've been searching for. A little bit of rhythm, the ability to sustain. Now they got to finish. Now they got to capitalize on these first downs and go finish with six. That is caught. And he's in. Mike Evans. Touchdown, Tampa. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense, let them build on that previous drive, because they've still got some work to do. Mayfield to the line. The Bucks will drive for two. Now they'll set up to throw. That's pulled in. 
And they're able to tack on the two-point conversion. Everything's about matchups, especially down here this close to the goal line. I think my guy is better than your guy. I'm going to put him in a position to have success, throw it up to him, and let him do the rest. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Here's Bijan Robinson, and the Falcon offense set for their next drive. They lead by a field goal as they go to work with a first and ten. To throw is Cousins. That's caught right side. It's London. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. A quick throw here, going to be taken by London. They'll mark him down up at the 44-yard line. Really nice job there to move the chains early in this drive, but now as they approach midfield, continue to keep your foot on the gas. Don't get conservative. Don't start sitting on the ball. Cross midfield and go. Anytime you find yourself on your opponent's side of the field, you have to be thinking points. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. So we are through three. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Here's a second and six. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Short throw taken by Pitts. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass. Get past the first down marker be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. It's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Well, this has been the story of the entire game, Mike, is just how well this defense has played, particularly against the run. There has been nowhere to operate for this offense and it continued here on this last play. And a good run there. Finds the lane. Gets forward. Got eight yards and sets up a much more manageable third and two. It's tough to completely celebrate, Mike, when you don't pick up the first down. But that's a run you will take every single time. I mean, good yardage in a lot of situations, it'll get you the first down, just not here. Open man is Mooney. He's got it. He's got the first down. Not by a whole lot. Only gets three. That's all he needed for a new set of downs. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers, 
everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. On first down, Cousins. Oh, they got the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Inside the 30. And he is going to bring this one back. A DB's dream. A pick six for touchdown. The defense comes up with the big play. And the pick six changes all the momentum. New leader in this one with that touchdown. Mike, this is one of those plays at the end they're going to look back on and say that play changed the game. Not only do you create the turnover, you take it back the other way, and now you find yourself with the lead here in the second half. On is Chase McLaughlin for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Bucks have taken a four-point advantage. So now playing with the lead after that fourth quarter touchdown. Time to kick it back the other way. Here's Williams on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Falcons offense and Kirk Cousins heading back on the field. And I want to take you through the highlights here. They have been plentiful from the quarterback position. Has the offense running at a high efficiency throughout and we'll try to sustain it here down the stretch. First and ten. They'll run here. And he'll bring this across the 30-yard line. It's a pickup of four. Here's second and six. Cousins now. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. Cousins out of the gun on third down. He's got his tight end. That's Pitts. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. These curl routes. He's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football. And I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield and you stick that foot in the ground. Work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball. And really nice job picking up the first down. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Second down and three. Here's Cousins. That one is caught by Mooney. And they'll move this one down inside the 40-yard line. And this is a tricky part of the game for any defense. You find yourself protecting a late lead and... The age-old question is, do you remain aggressive? Do you try to just keep the ball from being thrown over your head and make everything be tackled and played in front of you? That's what every defensive coordinator struggles with, so they can't get too soft here as they try to hold on to this lead here late. On first and ten, Cousins. He's 
got his man. It's Mooney. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. Now, second and four. Throwing his cousin. That's going to be dropped underneath for Robinson. And it'll be a short pickup. That's not enough for the first down. So often for a defense defending the passing game, the most difficult guy to account for is the running back out of the backfield. So a really nice job here bringing him down before he has a chance to pick up any yards after the catch. Big play in the game right here. It's third down. They'll drop to throw. Open man, right side. He's got it. That's catch three just on this drop. And it gets his team a first down. Really nice answer to the previous drive from this quarterback. You want to play at this league and you want to play for a long time? You better have a short-term memory because mistakes are going to happen. Really nice job here bouncing back, putting together a promising drive, and he's open to come away with a touchdown of his own. And he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Here's second and two. Now, Cousins. That is caught, and he'll take it on in. Frank London, touchdown Atlanta. Now this, an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. An important extra point up and good, so the lead is three here in the late stages of the game. After that fourth quarter touchdown, time to kick it back the other way. Here comes a return from the five. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Buccaneers offense ready to get back at it. This one has been tight so far. A field goal separating the two sides as this drive kicks off with first and ten. the shotgun Mayfield and he can't hang on through the contact it's incomplete what a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving and it'll be second down great job there defensively separating the man from the ball and this is the moments in the game where you need your best players to step up and this guy's showing what he's capable of doing in the game's critical moment That's made right side. It's Johnson. Now the Bucks will take their first time out. And they'll have a chance to talk things over after picking up that first down. From the gun, it's Mayfield. That's over the middle of the 
tight end Otten. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. Here's second down. To throw is Mayfield. In the middle of the field, he's got Evans. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Final minute, one timeout remaining, and it's first and ten. Throwing is Mayfield. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Chris Godwin, the receiver he was looking for. And that will lead to a second down. To throw is Mayfield. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. A great pass rush is like a closer in baseball. When you bring them into the game, it's all but over. That's exactly the case here. It doesn't result necessarily in a sack, but it was the hit that altered the throw just enough to end that play before it started. From the gun on third down, it's Mayfield. That is incomplete. Here we go. They're down to what could be their final play. It's fourth down. They desperately needed that one, Mike. Down here late, they've only got a few remaining snaps to go, and it puts all of the pressure of the game now on fourth down. Let's see what play call they have in a gotta-have-it situation. And right now, this quarterback needs to make his best throw in the biggest moment of the game. And that is incomplete. They had their chance. They took it there. Look, they're trailing late. Got to let it fly. This will wind up a turnover on downs. The Falcons offense make their way out to take over once more. They'll have very good starting field position as they set up past the 40. break the huddle coming up now for first and ten victory formation defense powerless to stop and that should just about do it Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. 